Hello and welcome back to Alchemy Guides. Today we're going to be talking about assets. So how do we use assets uh, in our you know, universe? How do you use it in Alchemy? Well, first and foremost, when you upload something into Alchemy, anybody who has access to this universe can go over to the Assets tab and download it for themselves. Now, when you upload something into Alchemy, you are limited to anything that is 30 megabytes or smaller. So anything that you can upload, be it, be it video, audio, or uh, static pictures, those are gonna be limited to 30 megabytes. Do note that in order to get things down to those, uh, we do suggest you use file types such as WebM or WebP. Those are the best in terms of quality and size compression when it comes to those things. Um, if you are going to be using WebM, do note that Safari users might actually have trouble rendering that. Safari does not render WebM video with transparency. So if you are using those things for things such as motion overlays and stuff like that, unfortunately, if you're using Safari, it won't render correctly. But don't worry, because you can either use Google Chrome or possibly even the app within our platform. So by taking that into consideration and getting those file sizes down, you can actually help to prevent a lot of issues that kind of arise if sometimes you upload a file that's far too big and maybe somebody's computer isn't able to handle such a, a big file. It takes time to it takes extra time to load or maybe there's some slowdown or lag or something like that. It could very easily just be the size of the file type you're using. So be careful and be wary when you are doing that so that way you don't ruin yours and or your own player's experience. When it comes to songs or music or things like that, we suggest that you use a shorter version of whatever song it is. You don't need to necessarily have the two hour looping uh, ambiance of a swamp or something like that. Uh, reason being is because Alchemy automatically loops your music for you and it helps to cut down on file size. Again, file size being pretty important here. Now, when talking about pictures or backgrounds or anything like that, specifically a static background, we suggest using the 16 by nine aspect ratio. That way you don't get any cropping whenever you import the picture as the background. And speaking of backgrounds, the, you can upload different types of backgrounds, uh, be it WebP or WebM. So meaning you can have motion in your background or it could be static. Uh, do note that we suggest that you don't go any bigger than 4K. So 3840 by 2160, uh, those dimensions. There's really no reason to go above 4K. Even large screen TVs uh, kind of are, are at the 4K limit. Um, and especially if you're playing on a laptop or anything like that, you're really only doing yourself a disservice. You're not going to really see the difference between a 4K image and a 1080p image in those scenes. So we do suggest uh, maximum 4K. But again, the file uh, size is really the most important thing when it comes to that. Now, maps here, you can upload your maps. Uh, they can be a little bit finicky uh, because it's all dependent on how the map was made by the original creator. So we do suggest that if you have a map that you sit it around 140 DPI. Um, that will set it within the alchemy limits. That's kind of where we default is 140 DPI. Now you can go as small as 70 DPI, but if you're having any issues with your maps, all you need to do is make sure whenever you upload it, you go to your actual tactical mode and you have a little slider where you can either grow or shrink the map to match the uh, the actual um, grid. So that way you can make anything fit, really. And when uploading battle maps, they are kind of notoriously huge files. So make sure that you take a look at the file before uploading it. And if you see that it's pretty large, Again, what we suggest is just going and transforming that or, or converting it over to a WebP image. Um, and again, maps can be WebMs as well, but just make sure you are trying to get as small a file size as possible. Right. Well, now with all that technical stuff out of the way, let's go ahead and talk about what we can do in order to uh, get your assets within the system and how to manipulate them once they're there. So if you look here on the top right, you can see that we have an upload assets button. You just click that and of course you can use that to actually upload the assets to our system. Um, this is where the 30 megabyte limit kind of comes into play. Once you do that, you'll see that you'll have a list kind of show up and propagate here on your assets tab. If you click into an asset, you'll see that you'll be greeted with kind of a preview of what this is. When you go to edit that asset, you'll have access to changing the assets name, giving the asset 
credit for maybe there's an artist that created either the music or the background or the motion overlay or something like that. You can credit or a link to that credit, meaning you can link back to their website and everything. Um, and then you can also uh, here add metadata tags. And those metadata tags are essentially to help you locate this or search for this item whenever you get into the game. One thing you'll see here that's a little bit different is if you over if you upload a video file, you'll have an extra option on there if you scroll all the way down. And this little tag will allow you to select this specifically as a motion overlay. So if you are trying to add motion overlays and you don't see the thing that you uploaded, you probably just didn't tick this little box telling it saying, hey, this video is actually used to overlay over top of other things. So that's how you'll differentiate between it being a background and or an overlay that sits on top of things. When you right click an asset, you'll get a few other things here. You'll be able to download the file here and anybody who has access to your universe and has access to the assets tab can do the same. It's a good way to share art files or anything like that. You can also do this with any purchase content within Alchemy. So if you navigate over to your purchase content, go over to your assets tab, you'll find that there's artwork, background, sometimes music, overlays and stuff like that. So have fun, download those and use them however you'd like within other custom universes. Another thing you can do here is you can actually right click and go down to copy link. And this link will allow you to take it and place this asset within different areas of alchemy. So for instance, if I wanted to link back to this article or excuse me, link back to this asset in an article, I could take this link, place it in there. And whenever they click it, it will show them this asset. Same thing goes for uh, other areas that you can place it, such as scenes and, and things like that. So that copy link is pretty useful. Another thing you can do to these assets is add them to additional modules. So for instance, if I had a second module here, um, let's call it upcoming title, sure. Uh, and this one right here is not, this one is blank. There's no assets within this module. If I had a thing that I wanted to share across multiple modules, all I need to do is right click that asset go to add to module, a pop up will come up and all you need to do is toggle this on. And instead of having to upload that item to this, uh, this, ass this, uh, this module, it automatically gets transferred over there. Uh, the same thing goes for if um, you wanted to do music or motion overlays the same way. The last thing here is probably one of the coolest and that is the replace feature. So let's say, for instance, we use this asset in many different locations. Maybe we have it for a scene. Maybe we have some articles with this asset in it, uh, so on and so forth. This replace uh, feature allows you to then, instead of having to go and replace all of those assets, let's say in those areas, um, you can simply replace this one asset with another one. So for instance, I want I, I had a picture of something, but I want a different one. Um, I can use replace and it will change all of those uh, assets in all of those locations all at once. So basically recalling what uh, what you have here and then it will automatically switch everything to match. Uh, so it's a really useful tool. So instead of having to run around and go find everywhere that you've placed that asset. Now, what's really neat here is you also have the opportunity to select multiple. So if you hover over, you'll see this kind of transparent circle on the right hand side. You'll see multiple if you just continue clicking down and by clicking down, you'll see that uh, you've already kind of pre selected these. Now, what this does is this allows you to do things uh, in multiples, so I can either delete all of these. Uh, I can go in and edit all of these, meaning that I can add credit to artists uh, and add meta tags to all of these specifically. Uh, you can change the overlays and you can change modules and make sure that you can share to all the modules. You can even download in a zip file, essentially, uh, if you have multiples clicked here, uh, we automatically zip those things for you and you can download them all at the same time. And last but not least, you can also select all or clear all if you would like to do so. But lastly, I just want you to know that you can use these assets wherever you'd like within the universe. So if I wanted to go out and create a handout, let's say, for instance, if you have this option where you can select an image or video or media or anything like that, you can select it and from the drop down, you'll see the art credit right there. So the uh, asset is pulled in as soon as you click into creating a new whatever it might be. So it might be a new handout 
or maybe possibly a new scene. And we go to environment visual on this one and look there, we have our asset. So don't be afraid to download or start with assets by uploading all the art and all the music you might think you need in order to create your scenes. That will set you up in creating your custom universe as smoothly as possible without having to go back and add assets after the fact. And that is pretty much it with assets. Thank you all for joining us for another alchemy guide, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye, everybody.